See you in the like, day. Like, like, see ya. Thank you for watching my video. <laughs> So guys, we have cut our container into the small, like this, con like I just trimmed it out and the uneven parts, we can fix it later. And uh, now uh, with the help of scissors. And we also need this uh, type of bag which you get, cloth bag. But we, white color. Uh, but we need it in white. So guys, now um, I just cut a piece out of the, uh, out of the cloth bag and now i'm putting it around it so that the uneven uh, like the unevenness of this is hidden we are going to cut the extra part done a lot more foldings and made it look even more better and now I have this other bucket and we're gonna just take out the handle and I'm gonna place it in our basket so guys we have used a pencil and marked where we are supposed to poke a hole we are using the help of a screwdriver I'm gonna just poke it inside and actually I he we heated the screwdriver a little bit and then we used the sharpest one we had so guys we put a little bit of uh, glue to, str to strengthen our handle up So guys, we put a little bit of uh, glue to, str to strengthen our handle up. And now our basket is strong. So guys, we put a little bit of uh, glue to, str to strengthen our handle up. And now our basket is strong. So guys, I, I um, uh, those circles which I cut, now I'm going to just stitch them together. So guys, we cut out this these circles from the same roll which we used to cut out this after that we cut out two circles from the same cloth and now we took some cotton and we are placing it and we are going to cover it with the other one now we are going to just stitch it together like so so everyone um, over here over here um, we, uh, we, sew the, we uh, sew it together and we just stick some stickers on top to make it look more beautiful and we are just placing it inside the basket no, now we're gonna decorate the handle. We're gonna be using glue, and then we we'll just put um, some cotton on top. Guys, I covered my um, handle with with cotton, and I also did some perfections by cutting the excess out. Now we are just gonna use some. So guys, then I made these two bows out of ribbon and I am going to place them on the sides and then this ribbon, I, I just took some plain ribbon and now I am just wrapping it around uh, in a candy cane format like so so this is actually to even hold, that's what it would look good decoration purposes, yes but it's also for uh, you know, securing the cotton in place. Put some 
glue on our boards and we're gonna stick it on the sides of our uh, handle it's gonna look cute it looks really cute that's why just to give it a cute look And we are done with our basket so guys um we made this teddy bear but then it turned out to be a little big for a basket so we're going to teach you how to make a small one so guys as you could see this ball is really uneven so now we're going to teach you how to make it even i've seen that many people in the comments ask that how do we make our um circle even or sphere e even so that's why I'm telling you how to do it. So first you're going to take cotton and you thin and thin it out and then you're going to just wrap it over there around. Like this. Uh, yeah. Like so as, as you can see. Light, light finger. With light fingers. Like so. To give it evenness and, and see. just set it directly. And it's done see. and it's even. And as you could see, the bigger one is also there. basket was looking a little plain so that's why I decided that I would put some drops of liquid glitter you can easily find these in any craft store stationery store craft store and stationery uh, store it look better. so it so it makes it look really cute plus it doesn't look empty and plain so guys, now I am arranging my cute little basket. I placed my teddy over here. And I am just popping in some chocolates. First I am going to tie, so I just took the chocolates into a bunch and tying them into a bow. Like tying them with the help of a ribbon. Like so. It is done and over here what I did is I tied the chocolates into a bunch and just cut out a heart with the help of some paper Oops. and I just uh, wrote I heart you which is a short form for I love you and then just uh, put it in inside the ribbon and just tied it out and mm. I tied the ribbon in a bow for a really cute look and, and also bows and you can even keep some rows of flowers it depends on who you're giving this to and our cute little teddy bear and yes so and, and, basket. and this is and you can see like you this is like a best out of ways to recyclable eco-friendly craft as i am a nature lover i love to save nature and waste best out of waste so it looks really beautiful and um, yes yeah, so and over here you can see the extra teddy which we made over here so the thing was that it was a little big to fit in our basket so now don't forget to watch our next videos that's, that's how do we convert our next uh, that how do we convert this teddy bear into a gift idea in our next video so don't forget to watch our next video please 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 see you in the like day. like share thank you for watching my video <laughs> Even the teddy bears are saying it. Okay, so the basket is really adorable, and you can make the teddy bear according to the size of your basket. You can put some flowers, or instead of just making this small little 
um, notes. You can actually make a whole envelope. It's up to the size of your basket and it's up to you. Now, what do you want to give? to your loved one this Valentine's Day. So thank you for watching my video guys. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye.